Hi guys, Mike Crossfield here. I'm going to do a little test. Just there was a little chat on Twitter I saw the other night which was confusing me a lot. I think this person was missing um, the idea. So we've got uh, uh, my GC2 HMT which I use down on the floor. We've also got Trackman which is a radar system. Um, this isn't a comparison of the two machines because the two machines work and do great things. They're slightly different. It's more where people are getting confused and actually questioning some of the tech which kind of worries me. Um, so let's just show you a little uh, demonstration of how very similar these two machines are even when they're capturing very different ways of capturing how far the ball goes, things like that. Let's get stuck in. Right, so we've got GC2 down here on the floor. It's going to spit out distance and up on the screen. I've got Trackman distances as well as my lunch here on the table, which is also going to spit out some distances um, for us. So I've got the range balls. And now a common thing people say on uh, Twitter and other places is how far do range balls go? Well, range balls is not a category of ball. There are lots of categories within that one category. These balls are reduced distance because of the length of our range. Um, and I'm just going to show you how the two machines, we're going for carry distance, um, capture almost identical numbers often, even though they're doing it in quite a different way. So Trackman's going to radar, it's going to follow the ball all the way. This one's using cameras just to watch, I think, the first 18 inches, centimetres, and then calculate where it's gone. It's going to hit six sign here. So I've just hit that one away, hit it fine. So one, two, two on my um, GC2 and 120 carry on Trackman. So within two yards of each other. Right, I've just stopped that from sleeping. Um, so you can see there 122 to 120 on Trackman. Gonna do another. That's two yards tolerance on those two. There's another one. So that's 121 on uh, GC2. So 118 to 121, three yards difference in the two. Um, I can work within a three yards tolerance. I'm gonna do one more. This time I'm gonna hit the ball very short. So 47 yards on that one. 47 yards on GC2 and 50 yards on Trapman. So Trapman was actually three yards further on that when it flipped around. So I'm not quite sure what this person was saying. He was seeming to say that the ball is around a Pro V1 model. And that's not, all GC2 is doing is seeing a projectile projected and measuring how fast it's gone and its spin in that first distance and then calculating how far that thing went it's not trying to deliver pro v1 numbers or something he was saying it's it's really odd i don't get it um i'm going to do a test now this is a real pro v1 x ball so we'll go to a real ball now so i'll hit that one away fine 167 gc2 so 167 gc2 166.6 on track man that's going from real ball to my range balls which are reduced distance. All the tech out there, there's free main launch models, they're very good. I trust GC2 HMT because I love the way it sees impact, so I love its face data uh, as well as its ball data. They're just accurate within certain tolerances, all of them are. I, I really didn't quite understand what he was saying. I saw him interacting with another person, a representative of this company actually, Foresight, and I think there were drinks offered if uh, someone proved their points. I think he might owe them a drink. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.